Hey guys, welcome to another Vetson video here on the FS2004 Aviation Pro channel. Uh, today we're going to take a look how to create a Vetson account and to do that we have to go to the Vetson website which is uh, simply www.vetsim.net So here we have the homepage of the uh, Vetsim network as you can see and uh, we have a nice, nice little overview of all the upcoming events and some more notams and news and also some videos well, of course, we want to create a Vetsim account, and first of all, we're going to go to the pilot section. And in the pilot section, we, you will find a lot and lot of information. And make sure you read through all of this before you go online. And um, as you can see, we have here a quick start guide, the pilot resources, you can uh, file a fi flight plan here, the trading department, if you really want someone to train you uh, uh, for flying, you can go here. Uh, the pilot software, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. The virtual airlines, if you want to join a virtual airline, you can do it here. And also, you can view your statistics uh, with this uh, page. Alright, so make sure we give it a good review before you go online. So, of course, we want to create a Vetsim account. And to do that, we have to go to the Vetsim members section right here. And you will see immediately right here, join Vetsim. So um, we have here a lot of information again. Uh, make sure you make sure you uh, give a review of the user agreement and the pri privacy policy, also the Vetsim code of conduct before you actually going to uh, sign up. And to sign up, we go to the uh, sign up page here. And again, before you proceed, make sure you uh, have uh, read the code of regulations and user agreements and stuff like that. And we're going to click on yes. Uh, again, read all through all of this, and well, we simply have to complete the form here. Uh, enter your first name. Make sure you do use your real name. That's really important. Um, and also, of course, your last name. Make sure you have a valid email address because uh, they're going to send you your Vetsim ID and password and some more. Uh, uh, the activation uh, link after you uh, register. So make sure you have a valid email address, also confirm your valid email address. Age 12 and under won't work, you have to be 13 years or older, so you can select it here. Also the uh, password reminder words, if you forgot your password you can always uh, view this word and maybe you will uh, remember it again. Your state of province, your country is very important, make sure you choose the right country. Your primary language and um, also you can select whether you're an enthusiast, a uh, pilot in the real world, an HC or in the real world, world, or both pilot and HC in the real world. And your preferred region, well in my case it would be Europe, and division would be Europe except UK. So complete this form and make sure everything is correct and then click register me. And then you will uh, receive an email with an activation link and also we then you will uh, um, be given your Vetsim ID and your password. Okay, so it's uh, pretty easy to create a Vetsim account. And next, we're going to go to the pilot software because we need a pilot client to connect on the Vetsim network via Flight Simulator. So uh, that's the next step. And to do that, we have to go to uh, the Squawkbox website, which is squawkbox.ca. The Squawkbox is a pilot client so which helps you to connect via Flight Simulator to the Vetsim network. There is also, also another pilot client called um, FSIN. I prefer Squawkbox though, it's pretty easy and quick program to use and um, it won't disturb you during the flight. Um, if you want to go for FSIN, just uh, do it whenever you want. It's, you just read the manual. Um, but as you can see, the setup is a bit tricky but well documented. So you have to put a little more effort in uh, doing this. But um, I'll show you how it works with Squawkbox. And uh, also there's a new pilot client being developed for uh, Flight Simulator. So um, maybe you can use that in the future as well. But for now go to the Squawkbox website. Click on the logo. Here you have all uh, the information and the forum if you have problems. And we're going to go to the download page and just download and install Squawkbox. So Squawkbox is the necessary piece of software you need. You can also use FSIN, as I said before. 
Uh, Squawkbox works, works for both FS9 and FSX. So um, you have to install this before you can actually go online. So um, this is the most important software you need. Um, you can also use uh, another software utility called Servinfo, and Servinfo uh, can be found by searching it on Google Servinfo, and we're gonna go go to the uh, FSIM page, and you can download it here. And what Servinfo is, I will show you that. Um, it gives a nice little overview of of uh, which ATC and which pilots are online at this present moment. So we're gonna click on the Vetsim logo. And we're going to go to map and we have a nice little overview of all the pilots who are now flying online and also the ATC. So we can very easily see uh, where ATC is online. So if you want to go from Vienna to Amsterdam, uh, well, you will see that you will have at least have uh, Vienna approach online. Um, of course, there's not much ATC online now. It's in the morning, so it's a bit quiet. But in the evening, you will see a lot more pilots and ATC, of course. So it gives you a nice uh, view of the whole world with all the ATC and also some other uh, things like ATC overview, the all controllers and all pilots. So uh, it's not a necessary piece of software but at least gives you a good overview of uh, who's online. Um, another quite important um, software you need is some kind of weather software because um, of course, on Vetsim we're going to use the real-world weather. I use uh, Active Sky by myself uh, because uh, uh, it's a pretty good program. Uh, of course, Squawkbox has its own uh, weather software or weather engine as well, but it has no precipitation, so you won't see any rain or snow. But um, this uh, Active Sky or any other weather program um, will provide you with the latest and correct and updated weather. So it's quite important that you have the good weather uh, while flying on the Vetsim network. Okay, so um, as you can see, creating a Vetsim account is pretty easy. Uh, on the next video, we're going to show you how to log in on the Vetsim network via Squawkbox, and uh, as you will see, uh, then it will be pretty easy as well. So uh, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please visit my Facebook page for more and more information. And I hope to see you next time.